successful, well, I ask for a little percentage. But I must get full credit for my discovery that is most important to me. I'll have Gordon draw up the contracts. Oh, contracts, contracts, I do not need to give you your word. Good enough, Rick. You amaze me. Frankly, when I received your letter, I thought you were just a, another eccentric. But there's always a chance you might not be. Then you walk in here and show me nothing short of a miracle. Two miracles. And you say that you'll accept my word that I won't cheat you. You won't. I know you're a good woman, even if you do not like other people to know it. However, uh, my formula may not be good for human beings. I have not tested yet. You will on me. Oh, no, 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 no. There might be danger. Those are my terms, Mr. Sintra. Janet Starlin will be your next guinea pig. Very well. Though it may take a little time to prepare sufficient extract, a week, maybe more. I'll make whatever arrangements you may need for your equipment. Thank you, madame. Now I see how you built all this. <laughs> I'm very close to losing it, Mr. Zintra. Maybe working together we can save Janet Starlin Enterprises. Maybe even make it bigger than ever before. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm sure the next three months we'll see a rise in Starlin sales that will surpass anything we've dared imagine. Mr. Zinthrop is working on the final stages of a development that will revolutionize the cosmetic industry. He's to have a free hand in his experiments and will be answerable to no one but myself. At the moment, I cannot divulge the nature of Mr. Zentrop's experiments, but I can assure you it will bring worldwide recognition to Janice Darlin Enterprises. Zinthrop really isn't on the level. After all, we don't even know what he's working on. It could be very legitimate. Oh, you are as bad as she is. Oh, women. <laughs> men. Every time you're stuck for an answer, you always come up with women. You're not getting out of this one so easily. I'd like to know why you think Zinthrop really hasn't got something. Well, you can call it male intuition, if you like. It's just that there's something about this whole business that doesn't smell right. The private laboratory, the secret experiments, Zentrop himself. The only thing that's missing is a genie with a lamp. You better leave the intuition to me. Come on, I'll let you buy me dinner. Buy your dinner? What's happened to your sporting blood? I thought we were going to toss for the check. Oh, no. You won the last three times. All right, look, I'll make a deal with you. Dinner is on me if you promise to keep an eye on what goes on in there. What do you want me to do? Read her mail and send her messages and keep her code? You could do worse. Oh, no, Mr. Cooper, not you, too. I've been trying to tell Bright Eyes here that I think Zentrop is a phony and a confidence man. If I were sure of that, I wouldn't be worried. I think he's a lot more dangerous. A quack. Oh, I don't follow you, Coop. Well... A confidence man is just be interested in your money. The only damage they can do is to your pocketbook. 
a quack can be fatal. So I back to him. I said, listen, Ivy. I'm getting sick of this TV every night. I mean, you know, we can do the same thing in a nightclub. Well, almost. Good morning. Janice Darlin Enterprises. I got two words for you. Drop dead. Twice. Irving? Calls me to tell me Dr. Cyclops is on Channel 9 tonight. Crushed. I've seen it twice already. Good morning. Is, uh, is Miss Darling in her office now? Oh, Miss Darling's in conference. Would you like to speak to her secretary? Oh, no, no, no. Just say to Miss Darling, I should like to see her when she has time, huh? Yes. has caught Blanche to order anything he requires. It is no concern of yours, Gleason. Make out a check for the full amount. Sue? Mary? Can I talk to Mr. Lanham? Bill? Hey, listen. Gleason just got a bill for $2,300. Enzyme extracts. 